This is a Finnish waltz um, called Kesan Tulesa. It's out of the Waltz Book Volume 2, compiled by Bill Mathiason. And um, it's attributed to a composer named Consta Ilha. I put the composer's name clearly in the credits, so I want to give credit where credit's due, but I can't pronounce it very well. Um, and this tune was given to Bill Mathiason by Ruth Ann Fraley, uh, and he refers to her a lot in this volume on the Scandinavian tunes, so apparently she's the go-to for Scandi music. And she's a composer in her own right. So hopefully we come across some of her pieces. Um, so let's play this tune. It's um, in A major, and it features a A part, which repeats, and it's an A major, then a B part, which repeats, and it's an A minor. I love it when they do that. And then it goes back to the top, da capo, and plays through the A part again until they reach the fine. So we will do that. I like to do the repeats both times. In classical music, when you do the da capo, you go through the second half without repeats. Eh, you know what? We'll do it the classical way. We'll um, do A, A, B, B, A. That way you'll know how the classical people do it. Okay, um, it comes with two pickups. I'm playing this waltz on my flots, which is my fake clots. The inside says Joseph Klotz, which would make it a very valuable violin, but it's a fake, but it sounds good anyway. So <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, ready, go.
I can tell that's going to be nice with the chords added. It's got some surprise B minor chords and otherwise pretty simple A chords, E7 chords, a D minor and a G7. Nice. Um, you know, let's hear what it sounds like if we didn't swing it. I read in the preface of the Waltz book the debate that goes on that I constantly struggle with to swing or not to swing. And I guess Jay Unger has has uh, referred to this as the tied triplet. It's what I call the swing, whether to do your eighth notes, do be do be do be do be. And he's saying it's like the first two notes of a triplet are tied, and then the third note is separate. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Anyway, whether you call it the tied triplet or swinging, it basically boils down to taste. And whatever historical uh, research you can do, was it appropriate where this waltz originated to do a swing? And so uh, let's just hear it and apply our taste buds to it and see if not swinging might be better. One, two, three, ready, go. So you've got to choose between to swing and not to swing and everywhere in between. We might decide we like a gentle swing or a really heavy swing. It's just kind of know that those choices are out there. Apply good taste, listen to good fiddlers, see what they do, and look at the historical research for your waltz. And of course, give me your opinion. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next waltz.